Hi folks, welcome to episode 47. We are following Dandelion to try and find Alvin. I have been told to take Alvin to both Triss and Shani. Come on Dandelion, I'm following you. Evidently, I've got a decision to make here. Who am I going to take the kid to? What's that? This is where they brought Alvin. Great. Wait here and don't enter until the fighting stops. You always tell me to wait outside. No. This time I'm going in with you. I'll create a new genre. The proactive ballad. I don't want you around when I start swinging. Okay. I guess poetry requires sacrifices. Gerald, hurry! I'll hurry you in a minute. Oh, I don't do that story. You dare challenge the salamandra! <laughs> I do dear, because look at that. You're now dead. Let's see. I got this useless. I'm glad you're here. Everything will be all right. Are they dead? Yes, Alvin. They gave me no choice. I understand, Geralt. Take me away from here. And I'm out. Whoa, that's a lot of blood. Geralt. And here's the boy. See? Where would you be without me? Shh. They're coming. Grab the kid and go out back. You heard them outside? Amazing. Okay, oh, I'll take no. him, but where? Take him to Triss. She's a sorceress. She'll protect him best. Oof. Doubt that'll make Shani happy. But it's better than angering a sorceress, I guess. Get going. Okay, I'll leave the boy with Triss. Uh, why do you all want to die so badly? Fold it at once. I'll take that. Alright. What if I got that I can drop? Vitality. Make alcohol. Right. 
Where did I go? Where did I go? Shani's gonna hit me. Greetings. No pain in your teeth. Schmarz, Zein, dentist. Geralt of Rivia, witcher, immune to cavities. Right. Witchers slay monsters. Generally, yes. Dentist too, but rarely. Because I'm a collector of teeth. Want more teeth? Certainly. The rarer the better. I'll pay. I'll look. Remember, they needn't be monster teeth. I prefer unique specimens with a story to them. How? I found some fangs. I already have those. A mammoth sneeze once caused me to squeeze a... <laughs> How could I make coin here? Wait, right, back to trust. Pencil. No. Farewell. I have enough going on right now. Dangerous, you're dangerous. Don't know why I was so shiny there. Geralt. Triss, about Alvin. Mm-hmm. Is he safe? Yes. Dandelion brought him here and explained. I knew I could count on you. Is Shawnee clear about this? No? Then go tell her the boy stays with me. End it. I... Well, if I have to. Though I'd rather face a swarm of ghouls. Geralt. I'll see you Bye -bye. later. really can't care about that though because you know the boy needs to be safe you could kill everybody Well, Geralt. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you. Out of my sight. I will forget your very name. Right, well. Bye. A fan of mine. It's not my fault. It's 
20. Dwarf shit in my boots. spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. Geralt, I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job. Client's getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring? Couldn't you just read my mind? I could. But I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher. Oh, Dandelion. Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into? Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just. Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... No buts. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Our monster slayer looks bitter. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates it. My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers! Damn all dissonances! <laughs> Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. 
sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a family, but I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Oh, Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoia'tael, the Order, Salamandra... There's no point in speculating. Ha! I knew it. Don't get excited, Dandelion. I just have my doubts. Only a fool has no doubt. <coughs> Let's have another drink. I can't throw these damned hiccups. Oh, this is the drunkest I've seen, Geralt. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides, it won't let me in. I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt. Live a little. Do they have dwarf women there? Sure they do. It's the best whorehouse in Tamaria. So, Geralt, you coming? Mm. I'm telling you, nothing like a trip to the whorehouse to get you thinking clearly. All right. Let's go. One for the road. It's very clever how they do it. Oof. So Stephen. You reek, and have woken all the neighbors. What kind of role model are you? <laughs> I'm out of here. Emma? <laughs> Absolutely, Stephen. Put up that silver sword. Let's see. Trust. That's going to be a grovelling apology. Geralt. <sighs> it's a beautiful ring. But? Well, I'd like you to spend more time with Alvin. The boy needs some discipline. Are you kidding me? Triss has made me look at stupid pictures. She must have her reasons. Pictures are stupid. I don't like you or Triss. I don't like you or Triss. You know what? You'll get a scalp in a minute anyway to your cheek. Okay, let's explore more of this in the next episode. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye.